Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. First Samuel, chapter 25. Very, there's so much good stuff I could bring out of the chapter. This story of David and what he did, there are so many points. I mean, I'm like, each chapter has like multiple full length Sunday sermons I can extract out of, and I'm not going to bug you with that. I'm just bugging you with little tidbits, little nuggets here and there. And here's the nugget for today. David and his men were looking after the stuff of some dude named Nabal. Apparently he was pretty friggin' worthless. So the verse that I'm focusing on is just verse 17. So the young, um, the young men or the servants of Nabal and his wife Abigail basically came to Abigail saying, Hey, um, our master Nabal dissed David. You need to be very, very careful. You need to think about what you're going to do for this household. So with that in mind, just because uh, David's men had looked after Nabal's sheep, uh, sheep shears and stuff, and I'm not sure if there was a pre-talked about arrangement, I just know that Nabal reviled David and his men and said, I'm not helping you, I'm not giving you anything. Yeah, you looked after my guys, so what? You turned from your master Saul, I'm not helping you at all. And then verse 17, the servants are saying to Abigail, Nabal's wife, Now therefore, no one consider what you will do, for harm is determined against our master and against all his household. For he is such a scoundrel, literally a son of Belial, that one cannot speak to him. <clears throat> we all have people that we can think of. Don't mention any names. I don't want to hear any names. I don't even want to hear any handles. I don't want to hear any of that stuff down in the comments below. But we all know people <clears throat> who when you have, when they're doing something um, and it's bad or you're doing something and they criticize you and whenever you go to talk to them, you can't speak to them. And if you can speak to them, there's certainly not a chance that they'll change their mind. We all know people that are like that, okay? And it irritates all of us and it frustrates all of us. And under circumstances like this, um, Nabal messed around with a man who had 400 armed men under him, and he pissed the dude off. And David was actually cons going to kill him until Abigail stopped him and thwarted him. Would David have been wrong to do that? He would have absolutely been wrong to do that. Um, David himself admits so later on in the chapter. Read the chapter. Read all of 1 Samuel. Read the story of David. It's so cool. And he would have been wrong to do that. But people like that, people like that get under your skin, and of course they're the ones in the wrong. They need to listen. So despite how contradictory it is, having said that these people don't listen to anything, I would like to make an appeal to those people. Please listen to the people around you. Please give your ears to the opinions of people around you. Not everyone is an idiot. You're not the smartest person out there. You make mistakes. Some people are intelligent. They can speak into your life. And it would behoove you to not take everything upon yourself and listen to those around you. And for those of you who know people like that, you're not necessarily one of those people. <clears throat> Again, love and forgiveness cover a multitude of sins. That's in the book of James. You want the specific location, Google's your friend. But get, give those people love and forgiveness and pray for them. Pray that God will open their eyes because God does have a way of kind of pounding through really thick golf. I know this personally. Um, he can reach through, he can get through, and sometimes it does take time and the right set of circumstances. So pray for those people. If you're not one of them, um, open your mind if you are one of them. Because it will cost you dearly if you're not opening, opening yourself up to anyone. I'm not talking about everybody. No one can listen to everybody. Everyone has a different opinion. Everyone, And everyone, every man and every woman thinks they're right in their own eyes. But there are people out there with good and intelligent opinions that you can kind of like work your ideas off of and they can like buffer you, they can strengthen you, they can help make you a better person. Please be open to that. Don't be a scoundrel. Don't be a son of Belial. Keep your ears peeled. Because if you don't, if you, keep your eye, if you keep your eyes and your ears completely closed to everyone around you, there will eventually be hell to pay. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.